Hi, this is Tom Nonemaker with Aramir Corporation. This is a quick walkthrough of the Apex Tracker version 1.09. I've got quite a few changes in here, so let's uh, walk through it. Um, I've added some code, so the drop down for the size is dynamic, and you can pick whichever one you want. So if I'm adding a couple of Apex accounts, say they're $50,000 accounts, you see it's populating them for me. And the account numbers start here now. If you want to delete accounts, just highlight the account size, hit the delete key, and they're gone. So let me just say, say we're going to start on, um, let's just put one in here. Let's start at number, f uh, I don't know, four. And then we're going to add a couple more. So now we've got four, five, six, all evaluations. You can do PA accounts too if you want. and That'll keep track of your PA and evaluation account profits separately. Um, but what we have here is the, the previous value, that's like yesterday or the previous day's trading close and the current value. So suppose you had these yesterday starting at 50 and today they're at 50,150. Maybe this one's at uh, 50,165, something like that. This is telling you how much PL you've got for the day and total. So um, say you do this and at the end of the day, you're going to click this button and that'll um, set the previous to the current. So that'll basically kind of reset it. I can do this today and then restore it back to where it was. So, but at the end of the day, normally just click end of day and that kind of resets it for tomorrow's trading. And then say the next day you make uh, 50,250, 50,275, 50,150. So you lost a couple dollars on this one, made on those, but you made overall 210. So you're up 675. So you've got three $50,000 accounts, notional value of 150,000. They are now worth 150,465. So you've made, um, or actually that was yesterday. Today they're worth 50,150,675. So you made $675. This tells you what you're averaging per day per account. And this is how, what percentage of the way towards your passing your valuation you are. Once you have PA accounts, it'll tell you how close you are to um, getting to where you can have payouts. And here we have the drawdown. So you can say, well, um, there's two ways to enter these. The, the blue column is where you enter it. So if you're using Rhythmic and you go to our trader, it's going to show you what the auto lick value is. So in this case, it would be, let's see, 250 higher. So 47,750. And this is 275, and that's 150. So this is 47,650. And if this is negative, then this is too low. It's going to be. 275 higher. Now this button set max, this lets you reset these all to the current value. So say I made uh, 5275, 5290, 51, something like that. Oops, I had a typo here. 5290. You see they're all negative. So if they're all negative, this is going to go down the list and just reset this to the maximum drawdown. So I just click the button and now it's done all the math for you. Now, if you're using Trade Evade, then if you go to the Trade Evade website, it's going to tell you what your drawdown is. So if I do this, say my drawdown is 2450. Well, now that's my auto lick level. It's going to calculate it for me. Um, so 2350. So it tells me that's how far away I am. Again, I can do set max. Um, that only only works with the auto lick. So the set max is going to calculate the auto lick. So um, Actually, these are already, uh, these, you have a drawdown already. Um, so if these are positive numbers, it's not going to reset it. If it's negative, it will. So if you had 47,500, that's negative. So if you have set max, that resets it. If it's positive, it's going to ignore it. Um, just And then say it's the end of the day. Now we're coming in for the next day's trading, 5,500. We had a good day, 56, or say... Uh, 480 and this is 5350. So we had a, again a good day trading and you can see our drawdowns here are negative so that means that this number is too low. So we just hit set max and now that's reset. Uh, and you can see now that we've made 1330 and we are 2.22 percent away from passing. Uh, this auto fills in the date so if the date's wrong say you're, you're filling in from previous days of um, you, you created these before, then you have uh, your start date here. 
Now for Apex, if you have a negative account balance and your account rebills, they'll reset it for you. It's automatic. So if you want to cancel it, then you have to go in and cancel the subscription. Uh, if you don't do that, they're going to rebill you. So um, this start date, I would just have it uh, for the last billing cycle, just so you know um, how many days you've gotten. Um, I've been in that target. Um, this is telling you how much profit each account has made. Here's the total down here. How far you are to your targets. Now this is, these are $50,000 accounts, so they have a $3,000 target. So we are about one-sixth of the way on these and about one-eighth of the way uh, for this one. It's just a reminder of how many contracts you can trade, 10 minis, 100 micros. And if you have this much profit per day, with this much to go, that'll take you this many days to hit your target. Um, I could have it calculate the date, I guess, but that's how many trading days it's estimated it'll take for you to get there. So the next thing, let me just put an underline on that. Um, this is calculating your average P&L for, uh, for all, your, all your accounts. You've got three accounts, and anything in here that's blue, you can type in. So if, say, I wanted to have... Uh, um, five accounts. Well, now it's going to do the calculations based on five. If you hit reset, it will recalculate these back to um, the calculated values. Um, so, say you're doing a, a Flexi Trade account and an Apex account. So, you've got 40 accounts. You can type in a 40 here. And this will tell you if you make on 40 accounts $192 a day, you're going to make um, six thousand nine hundred twenty four dollars per week now that's at the ninety percent level so apex will pay you twenty five thousand the first twenty five thousand for each account hundred percent after that they take ten percent of it so the first twenty five k which at this rate um, for twenty apex accounts it'd be about two weeks a week and a half we'll call it two weeks before you hit the twenty five thousand limit um, well actually that's per account so if it's one account it would take you for 25,000 about half a year, so about six months of payouts, and then you would hit the uh, the 90% uh, the limit where they start taking out 10%. Again, you can set this to whatever number you want. Um, you can also do what ifs. If you say I'm going to make $50 a day per account times 20 accounts, this is how much I can expect to make in the long run. If you bump it up, then you know these numbers all change. So the power of Apex is the um, the the leveraging so you can have 20 accounts and if you can do a hundred dollars a day that's uh two mes contracts and then say uh you have to do a little bit more maybe two and a quarter points to uh, pay for the commissions two and a half depends on how many contracts or how many trades you make but if you can net a hundred dollars a day with 20 accounts then that would be about four hundred fifty thousand a year thirty seven thousand a month um these are all the, the data points for uh the account size at Apex. If you need an Apex account, you can just click on the button. It'll take you right there. Um, tells you how many days to pass, um, months to pass, etc. based on this number. So if you can do 150 a day, see these numbers all change. So if you do 150 a day, it will take you 10 days to pass. And these are trading days. And then the minis and the micros, these are your maximums. And then over here on this table, if you want to try and max things out, like say you want to pass really, really fast. You have like an Apex special, like one day to pass. Like, oh, what does that take? On a $50,000 account, you can trade 10 minis. So if you trade 10 minis, you have to make 15 points, and that'll hit your profit target uh, with uh, $20 a point. That's NQ, full NQ contracts. And But on the bad side, you have 12 and a half points of drawdown, and you, count, and you blow up the account. So this just tells you what you're looking at. And you can type in a number of a target. So say you want a $500 profit target and you want to do 10 contracts, it's going to take you two and a half points to get there. Now the PA account is just for uh, um, for the numbers down here to, uh, the way Apex works is on your trailing drawdown for a, a PA account that's a performance account. It takes the drawdown plus $100 and then add that to your starting value and that's how much you have to get to and then um, after that you can start uh, taking money out a minimum payout is five hundred dollars so it's really a hundred plus five hundred so six hundred dollars plus a trailing drawdown so on a fifty thousand dollar account that's twenty five hundred plus a hundred so twenty six and then 
at that point your drawdown will be 50,100 and will never go any higher. But then to make any money, to take any money out, you have to make another $500. So that would take you up to 53,100 and then you can take $500 out. Um, this little tool is for if you uh, are trading and you forgot what the previous day value was. So say we have uh, 50,551 and we're, we're not sure. We look on our, like our trader, 50,551 and we've only made uh, $195 today. Well, that's our previous value. So if I copy that and right click paste special, now we've got $195 here, which is what we told it that we would have. So that's that's how you use this tool. So you can copy here, say, say this one, 480, paste it in, and say our profit was 188, then this will be our previous. So I'll control C, copy, paste it in here, paste special, and there's our 188. So that's how this all works. Now you can see the drawdown is $51. Uh, I can just type this in or I can just hit set max and there it is. It's done for me. Um, now, of course, if that's not the max, say you're, say you, the market went up a little bit and pulled back on a long and maybe your auto lick is like 50, 60. So you've got, um, $9 of drawdown. So if you set max, it's not going to do anything because you have, um, the maximum would be $9 less than that, but you're above it. So you're eating into your drawdown limit. So you've got 2491 left of your 2500. You know, not much, 0.36%, but it's not uh, zero. So you'd have to change this to like, you know, say a dollar hits at max and that'll reset it back to, to normal. And let's reset this and that's basically it. So the save file just saves the file. That's it. So that's the, uh, the Apex Tracker. Hope you like it. I found it's pretty useful to keep track of how far away from my drawdown and profit targets I am, estimating how long it's going to take to get there, reminding me how many contracts to trade, um, and I can see when the billing dates are and how many days it's been. So if it gets up near like upper 20s, I know I'm going to get rebuilt pretty soon. So I have to make a decision, do I want the rebuild or um, do I want to cancel it? You know, if you're really far behind, like say your drawdown is 2,500 and you've only got like 500 left and you're going to get rebuilt in a day or two, just let it rebuild because then it's going to uh, uh, reset your account if you're um, if you well if you've blown the account you will so um, just make a big trade make it zero you know basically kill the account essentially leave the subscription in it'll auto rebuild it'll auto reset the account other way to do it would be to cancel the account if apex has specials going on and the special rate is less than your rebuild rate then just cancel the account and set up a new one here so that's how that works. Um, let me know what you think, if you have any suggestions for changes, and I'll see you later. Thanks.